Hey, good afternoon, folks. On today's Banks Tech Tip, we're going to take a look at how to migrate from Microsoft Active Directory Sync to Azure AD Connect. Hey, good afternoon, folks. Uh, today, we're going to look at how to migrate uh, from Active Directory Sync. Uh, also known as DirSync, to Azure AD Connect, which is the uh, probably the third or fourth version of this program that Microsoft has released. Uh, what this program does is it takes your, your local Active Directory usernames, passwords, all that good stuff, and syncs them to, um, to your Office 365 um, account. So when somebody resets a password in the Office, that password immediately syncs up to Office 365. So next time that they go to log in to Webmail, uh, that password is changed and uh, and everything works how it's supposed to. Um, so it's it's a uh, it it kind of just makes things work better. And uh, in in an organization of say maybe 20, 10 to 20 users or more, we recommend that you do use this product. Um, so what we're doing here, uh, Microsoft is uh, is depreciating the the DirSync product, um, and they are suggesting that everyone move to the Azure AD Connect product. So um, that's what we're going to do on this server here. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I've already downloaded all of the files and everything. I'll put links for you so you can get to those. Let's um, let's double click on the file, and uh, you'll see the installation windows start to pop up here. Um, this is pretty uh, pretty standard stuff. You can go ahead and select yes and, and start moving through these. And you can see it's copying files, creating shortcuts. Um, go ahead and click yes on the, uh, the user account control prompt there. And this gets into the actual install. Um, so of course we are going to agree to the license terms and privacy notice. We'll click continue. And what this is saying is it has found the existing version of, of DirSync um, and it's saying that it will be upgraded to Azure AD Connect. So it's, it's taking a look at, at what's already on this particular server and, um, and is gonna cater the, uh, the install or the upgrade um, to what we already have in place. And this will take a few minutes to get through. Okay, so now it says it's ready to upgrade DirSync and uh, and migrate our settings. The estimated time to complete uh, to complete the first sync is uh, is less than one hour. This particular server only has probably uh, twenty users, maybe, so it's not going to take long to replicate up to Azure. Um, so we're, we're we click next. Um, now it's going through installing a few prerequisites. Okay, and here's where we're going to enter uh, enter administrative credentials for your Office 365 or your Azure AD um, accounts. Uh, either they they should be the same if you have both. Um, but you enter these admin credentials. It's connecting into Office 365. Um, and then this is the the local. Uh, the local account. So this is for an Active Directory Enterprise Administrator. A domain administrator will not work for this prompt. You do have to have Enterprise Administrator credentials. Um, so enter those. Go ahead and click Next. And then finally we're ready to configure here. Uh, you can see it's going to uninstall the old tool. It's going to install the new tool. Uh, it'll enable the auto upgrade and then configure sync services on the computer. And we also check the box there to go ahead and sync after um, after the uh, installation is complete. So I uh, went ahead and skipped through here. We're about to finish up as you can see. Uh, it's it's going through a, a few different configurations and like I said I'm, I'm kind of skipping through here. This does take uh, it does take about 10 to 15 minutes total. That will vary based on the size of, uh, of your Active Directory Forest. Um, but like I said this one is fairly small. It's moving along fairly quickly.
And as you can see, it's uh, finishing up a, a few things here. We did have a uh, password sync enabled. So like I said, those passwords will sync um, up to Office 365 and Azure. And there we go. Configuration is complete. Guys, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I hope it's been helpful. Um, migration to Azure AD Connect is something that a lot of people are going to be doing over the next couple of months as this product is depreciated. So if the video has been helpful, please give us a like and also subscribe to the channel. That lets YouTube know that you think this content is valuable, and it also lets us reach a broader audience. Again, I appreciate your time. I'm Philip Banks with Banks Technology Services.